Okay, Adam, 1-0 um, home win against Haringey. One, one step closer. Your thoughts on the game? I thought we really um, took it to them the sort of first 15 minutes and then they sort of uh, sort of blocked us and stopped us from attacking. What were your thoughts on this? Uh, yeah, goal? I think if we, if we score in the opening 15 minutes, you know, first goal's massive. Um, and, yeah, just didn't come today. Uh, Ollie had a good chance. I think Aaron hit the bar. Um, yeah, Miki got in as well with a, a diagonal run. Um, they just didn't didn't fall for us, didn't drop for us. Um, and then you know, with that, um, there's always that tension that it can go down the other end, and you know the game can completely turn. Um, so full credit to the players; they kept going, kept um, kept playing. You know, we played some really good stuff, um, but I uh, just think our mentality a little bit where the goal didn't come. We just sort of. Uh, Maybe lapsed off a little bit, um, but you know, full credit, they kept going and got the got the goal in the end. Yeah, did you think there was any nervousness around around you know when the goal didn't come? Did you think yeah. there was a bit of n nervousness? Maybe I think it's yeah, it's got to be at this sort of stage of the season. They've done done so well. They're still a young group, um, but yeah, that's what I'm just saying. We've got to try and get that out of our system now. We've got to really relish the last four games. They got themselves in an incredible position. Um, great. Points tally to to this to this stage, um, but yeah, we've got to, got to carry on. Yeah, uh, Callum Keeley, a uh, bit of a masterstroke of a signing over sort of uh, last last November. He's been so important to the team, and he's really brought a, a different dimension up front for us. Yeah, he sure has. Um, you know, his work rate. I've got to say, Dejan as well, and Oli, Miki, their work rate between the four of them today. They really got through some covered some ground, um, and you know. Uh, he's, he's pops up with some really vital goals and um, keeps putting himself in, in a good area. He's in between the posts, he's um, where we want him to be. I think when he first came he was a little bit doing too much outside the box and you know, we now focused him on getting himself in between the, t in between the posts when crosses come in and it seems to really sort of be paying off for him. Yeah, um, obviously one step closer. Um, just one win needed out of four, so three three points out of twelve needed. Um, it's a great position to be in, and like you say, maybe players should just take it on board and just relax a little bit more. Yeah, definitely. I mean, what, what an occasion to, to potentially after you know three years of, of hard work for a lot of them boys. <laughs> Pain, yeah. Um, but they've worked incredibly hard. They've been ultra professional, um, you know, in everything they've done so far up to now. So we've got to make sure that we if we perform. Like we did today, for large parts, um, you know, we know we'll be a handful, and we've got to really focus on that, our performance levels, and make sure our, our mindset's right. Um, like I say, we don't want at this stage of the season anyone to get nervous. You got to relish being in this sort of position and the opportunity that we've got. Um, we've got to make sure we're going to take it. Yeah, and obviously we've had a lot of hard away games on dodgy pitches. So I think that's quite an yeah. under, understatement in a way. Yeah. So it was nice to get back today, and, and we saw the way Worthing we play from at times proper football and passing the movement. And it was it was a good performance all round. Yeah, it was. It was there's lots of that today, and like I say, that's what we want to accustom ourselves to. But yeah, the last three games it just hasn't been possible. Um, you know, the pitches have been really bobbly. We've had to get it forward and and fight and scrap for second balls and um, it's not our DNA to do that but you know we've got to make it our way when we come up against that so yeah it's brilliant to be back at home in front of our fans and back on our pitch and our surface but yeah next week's another 3G so you know we look forward to to that task and, and, and playing our way. Okay why don't you mention JB, uh, James Beresford, um, again an, another player that's come in come into the, the squad and He's, he's, he's made a difference. I thought he had another good game today as well. No, yeah, I think you know those two additions are really sort of enhanced the squad really um, in terms of you know players missing. So we're still missing Giles, you know, Tucky come back in today, and um, you know I think we'll see good arguably man of the match last week, and yeah. then misses out today. So you know this the squad depth that we've got now with them two coming in, I think it's really helped, especially in like the fullback areas. Um, and Jasper's, you know. Doing a, a good job for us uh, in the fullback areas when when needed. Uh, I'm sure he wants to get forward a little bit more, but you know he's doing a, a good job for us there. And um, yeah, with them too, it just gives us um, a few more options. Yeah, and obviously Jasper, you dropped him back uh, today. Um, I thought he'd done his defensive tasks really well today. Yeah, he's defensively a very very good player. Defensively, he's got lots of good attributes that you want from a defender. Um, you know, he's aggressive. He's can defend one v one very well. 
um, and probably you know, typifies a modern day fullback. Gets forward well, gets crosses in the box, put a couple of great balls in first half. Um, so yeah, he's, he's a good player and I think good players should be able to play and adapt and play anywhere really. Um, and I think we've got a few of them in, at the club. Okay, so in, injury wise, obviously Danny Barker, you've already mentioned Joel, yep. uh, Alex Parsons, um, obviously all fighting back towards fitness. Do you think we'll see them all before the end of the season? Yeah, I like to think so. The only one that probably might be struggling is Luca with his ankle. Um, just went over on it in training, he might have like, just uh, damaged his ligaments a little bit. So he could be struggling for, before the end of the season. Um, but I like to think the other three uh, are there or thereabouts, really. Um, they're, they're joining in training. Um, Barker may be a little bit longer than the other two, than Joe and Alex. But yeah, it'd be nice to get Alex back um, and get him some minutes before the end of the season. I think that'd be a real boost for him uh, over the summer to get that get that ticked off. Um, you can still see at times he's a little bit nervous and he had a bit of a flare up in training the other night um, but hopefully nothing too serious and yeah it'd be great to get um, all those players back before the end. Okay. Yeah because they're doing such an integral part and it would be such a shame for them to miss out wouldn't it? Yeah no that's right yeah like all, all three of them have been a big part in the last three years and, and stuff like that so yeah would, would be a shame um, but you know, they'll, they'll do all they can. Like I say, the group's ultra professional in, in what they do. They do their extras away to make sure they'll be ready, and I'm sure them three uh, will be doing all they can to be fit. Yeah, and ov obviously, you picked up your manager in a month award before the game today, and obviously, Jesse Starkey, 150 appearances as well. Um, such a big player for us. Yeah, he is, yeah. Um, I think, um, you know, there's a few, few players now that have got over the 150 mark now, which is. You know, really testament to, to the club and how it's run and that they want to stay and be part of, of this club and some real talented boys there and yeah Jesse was like 26, got 150 uh, appearances for us now so yeah like I say integral, integral part and yeah the, the, the manager thing's nice, um, I think they was getting to a stage in the season where they had to give us one, um, one, one award um, so <laughs> yeah that was obviously nice but it's just Full credit to everyone, you know, the the, the staff off the pitch, um, you know, we get together regular and you know, there's there's a group of us, um, won't go through and mention more, but I say integral part to everything we do, so, you know, it's a special award for them really, more than myself. Okay, so next week away at Barrows and Pitsy, uh, just need to win there, we've got two coaches full already, so yeah. I think it's going to be a great away following. So what do you expect from Barrows next week, because they're sort of mid table side as, as well, same as Haringey, do you think? That yeah, kind of shut possibly, shot. like I said to the boys, no, no team at this level this, um, is going to hand it on the plate to you, we've no. got to go and earn it, we've got to go and play and, and worry about our performance and make sure it's of a, a real top level, um, because they'll be looking to still get the three points, um, there's no question about that. Every team in this, this, this level is competitive and they want to, to win every game they go into and next week will be no different. Okay, congratulations today Cheers, and we'll see you next Saturday yeah. when we're going to lift the title. Hopefully.